Hi, welcome. So in this lecture, we'll examine the diff or differences between local and remote. So there are two aspects to this word remote. So one aspect is we'll examine the diff between the local repository and a remote repository. And the other aspect is the difference between the master branch and another branch. And another branch can be any branch, say such as a feature branch, a development branch, a release branch, or whatever you say. So before you go ahead, we'll first commit whatever is out there. So we'll do an express commit using git commit dash am and let the commit message be prior to remote demo. So demo for demonstration in short, press enter and the commit is done. Let's clear the screen. So right now I'm in GitHub and I'll be creating a new repository called Business Venture so that I can push my changes in the Business Venture local repository to GitHub. So it's a public one as you can see over here and really I don't need any readme or git ignore file right at this point. So I'll click on the create repository. So I'll copy this URL from the clipboard. So either I can copy from here or I simply click this button over here, copy to clipboard and let's get back to our terminal. So now I'll execute this command git remote dash v, press enter and we don't have any remotes over in this repository. So let's execute this command which is git remote add origin and then you paste the URL. So this command will connect our local repository to remote repository which we have kept the same name which is business venture press enter and let's issue the command once again git remote dash v which I retrieve using the arrow key press enter and here you go. So the remote repository is being set up and let's now push all the changes that you have made in our local repository to our newly created github repository. So git push origin master press enter. So it prompts me for the username. So username is bibroy, which is bibhashroy, press enter, and it prompts me for the password. So I'll enter my password. Now this prompt might be different for your platform, depending on whether you are using Windows, Linux, or Mac. So I enter my password here and press the OK button. And here you go. So the push is done. Okay, so we are back in GitHub and let's check our project business venture now that you have pushed all the files from the local repository to github we need to go back to our business venture repository on github and see whether the push has been successful or not so as you can see all of the files or the documents that we have pushed are over here and let's do some changes to our major milestones file so vim major milestones press enter and right now we are in the editor, press I key to insert. So next entry is launching creation of beta product. Press escape key colon WQ to quit and save. And let's do an express commit using git commit dash am beta product creation launched. Press enter. Let's add one more change to the major milestones file using vim major milestones. Press enter I key to insert. The next milestone we have achieved and hence the next entry in the major milestone file is that beta product launched. Press escape key colon WQ to quit and save. Now you're all set to inspect the difference between the remote repository and our local repository. So for this we will issue the git diff command first. So master which represents the master branch of local repository and origin master which represents the master branch of the GitHub repository. Press enter and here you go. You can clearly see the difference between the local and remote repository. So this is the particular line which I've highlighted doesn't exist in the remote repository since we have not pushed the major milestones file after the changes we made just now. So let's clear the screen and let's use a git diff tool command will be just slightly modifying our earlier command and we'll append the word tool press enter and here you go. So the left side represents the master of the local branch and the right pen represents the remote repository master branch and this is the difference between the 
local and remote repositories. Here, the major milestones file in the remote repository is represented by this temporary file, and here is the representation for the local repository. So let's quit from the tool, click in File, Exit, and you're back in the terminal. Let's clear the screen and let's commit. Get commit a-m as an express commit and the appropriate commit message will be beta product launched. If you remember the changes we made to major milestones file, press enter and here you go. Now I'll show you another aspect of remote. What I mentioned right at the beginning of the lecture is a branch and we'll inspect the diff or difference between the branch we'll create right now and the master branch. So let's create a branch using git checkout command dash b and let's name it feature branch. So there is a typo here. So that's a feature branch. Press enter and checkout minus b not only creates a branch but also switches to the feature branch. And let's modify the file major milestones once again. Press enter, press i key. So the next milestone we have achieved is release of beta product. Press escape key colon wq to quit and save. Let's clear the screen and let's commit these changes. So git commit dash am and the commit message is releasing beta product. Close quotes, commit and the commit is done. Now we'll return back to master, git checkout master and here you switch to the master branch. Let's clear the screen and now let's do a git diff using git diff command between the master branch and the feature branch. So we'll start out with the feature branch and then the master. Press enter and here you go. Diff clearly shows us the difference between the master branch and the feature branch. Let's, let's clear the screen. Now before I execute the git diff tool command, I'll just make another change to the major milestones file. Press enter. So successfully I've launched the beta product. Now we're proud of that and we want to just do a press release of successful beta product launch. Press escape key colon wq to quit and save. Now I'll execute the git diff tool command. For that I'll just modify the earlier command and press enter and here you go. So the left pen represents the feature branch and the right pen represents the master branch. And as per the changes we made, p4 merge accurately displays the difference between the master branch and the feature branch. Let's quit from the tool file exit and you're back in the terminal. So with this, I conclude this lecture.